Hello, hello everybody, uh, and welcome to uh, another review. Um, apologies for last week. Oh, my, my little one was not well last week. Uh, in fact, she's still not that very well. She's got a cold, she's cranky. Um, and consequently, that means me doing nothing last week whatsoever. So, apologies for the delay in uploading another video. Um, well, what have we got? Well, we've got a reno another review for you for the train simulator. Um, so yeah, what are we going to be doing today is looking at the Glasgow Airport Rail Link add-on uh, for Train Simulator. Ooh. Um, yeah. Well, the the usual sort of thing. What is it? Is it any good? Is it worth the money? Etc. Etc. So, um, this add-on was came out in the fifth of May, twenty ten. So it's quite an old one now. Um. It was developed by Thomson Interactive, I believe. Um, originally, obviously, it was part of the uh, RSC um, package, but obviously it's now publisher, it's now Dovetail Games. Um, and I'm looking at the, the this information on the Steam store as, as I kind of purchase all the things through there. I know you can obviously get it other ways, but Steam is my preferred method. Um, so what is it? It's... I want to say it's a fictitious route, and it is and it isn't. So um, you start off at Glasgow Airport and you go down the uh, the line. Um, if you've obviously got the West Coast Main Line North bit, you'll know Glasgow Central Station. Um, this actually goes off to the right as you come out of Glasgow Central Station, uh, or westbound if you look at a uh, map, uh, towards Paisley. Um, so you've actually got um, a decent bit of line um, that is actually real um, all the way out of Glasgow down to Paisley. Um, and then there is 1.2 miles um, of fictitious route. I think it actually was intended to be built um, by 2013 and I think it's been cancelled now or something like that. But this was a, um, a precursor. Um, so it actually being cancelled uh, at 1.2 miles uh, to Glasgow Airport, um, hence the Glasgow Airport Rail Link add-on part. Um, what else do you get with it? Well, um, you get the, um, I can't remember, the, the locomotive. I'm going to have to, oh, that, that's pathetic, isn't it? <laughs> one of the key things about this entire route and I've completely forgotten um, the locomotive that you get with it um, it's a class uh, I can't remember it's not 350 um, give me a minute, anyway we'll come back to that um, you get five uh, scenarios with it um, which yeah, they, they're alright you get, you get like I say Five scenarios, some of them are short, sort of 20 minute ones, some of them are um, more extensive. I mean, it's not that long a route. Um, you know, you probably do Glasgow to the airport in about 20 minutes, something like that. So um, it's not a, a, a massively long route. Um, they've obviously thrown a few things in there. Um, to make it um, a little more interesting, um, but uh, you know, as a whole, um, that's what you get. It's all passenger working. Obviously, it's it's to do with um, running a service to the airport, as the uh, <laughs> as as the name suggests. Um, so you know, there's not going to be any freight working. Um, there are um, sort of freight locomotives working on the line, um, which is probably one of the downfalls of um, the actual pack itself. So there is only the um, the loco. I'm um, crap. I, my brain's gone to mush. Um, yeah, uh, there is only the default local that comes with it, so they, they're obviously relying on the um, European asset pack um, that comes with it, and, and there's some um, problems with that. So 
the, the issue that you you get is that if you look at the scenarios, they, they use the HST thing, but it's um, what's the right word? It, it's the first Great Western one, which obviously wouldn't be up this neck of the woods. So yeah, it doesn't fit, and then they've got class thirty sevens running with um, uh, running with like big EWS uh, wagons behind it, but they're in British Rail blue, and yeah, so the scenarios are a bit crap. Um, from from a realism point of view, they're a bit crap. Um, other than the class three eighty, there we go. The brains kicked in. You get a class three eighty with it. Um, the yeah the, the the scenarios are a bit naff so you only see class 380s and and the rest of it is kind of out of out of touch so they've got the the default european asset stack in british rail blue with modern scott rail class 380 and uh, yeah i i, I they're all right the scenarios it's enjoyable to play but from a realism point of view they're a bit naff um so yeah so yeah you, you get the the class 380 emu with it um it's a that is actually quite a nice logo to play it's uh really well detailed you get some nice features where you can't stop until the door is shut and the the guards giving you the the go ahead um with it um so that's quite nice um but yeah, it, it's this is one of them routes that's really, really hard to like for me. So, in the Steam store at the moment, this route is tw twenty four, uh, twenty four pounds, um, and I'm laughing at that because really, you want us to pay twenty four ninety nine for this, and like I say, it, it's it's not a long route, isn't this? This is, um, you know, it, it, if it's twenty miles, I'll be amazed um, to go from Paisley to uh, <laughs> to to Glasgow um, with this little one point two mile fictitious bit, so really some fictitious bit. Um, the depth of the snap, the the scenery, you know, as you pull into Paisley, um, you know. It's it's from from Google Maps. It's quite a built-up area, but you go a little bit off the railway line, and the scenery just dies. Um, so the effort in the depth of scenery on this is pretty poor, if I'm being honest. Um, yeah, it, it's there is no way I would pay twenty four pounds for this add-on. Uh, I got it in Steam sale. I think it probably cost me about twelve pound, uh, and at that, you know, I bought it to get. The class 380 because I needed it for some Armstrong Peros um, scenario packs, um, but 24 pounds for something that is really one dimensional. You're never ever gonna pretty much play anything else locomotive wise. Um, you know the s scenarios are a bit naff because the only you know they're not true. They're not realistic. You know there's different eras of locomotive on the same line, which you know. This is a simulator. You can't call it a simulator if it's not going to be true to, to real life. Um, yeah. Yeah, you can tell my frustration at the moment with this. It's a... You know, the route out of Glasgow to, to Paisley's all right. Yeah, it's, it's near enough. Like I said, the scenery doesn't go far enough off the side of the railway lines. that It disappears really quickly. Paisley looks like a two-town... Uh, two building town um, versus what it would be in real life. Um, yeah. The, the, unless you want the class 380, which you can buy in the Steam store by itself for twelve ninety nine, um, I really wouldn't recommend this add-on whatsoever. Uh, save your money. Go away and buy something else. Um, I, I think this needs a, you know, to, especially asking £24 for it, you, uh, you know, the... Um, what's we call it? The extra to Painton route. I think last time looked something like fourteen pounds. Go away and buy that. It's, it's definitely over twice as long, um, and and better built and more enjoyable and more variety. Yeah, save your money. 
avoid this one like the plague. Um, and yeah, on that note, um, I hope you found this review informative. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, and I will definitely see you next weekend for another review uh, on this channel. If you like it, like it. If you if you do like it, subscribe. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing one a week. Um, and, and we're going to gear up the channel for even more stuff. So take care, have a great weekend, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.